Hello, today is May 10th, 2019, and uh, I want to speak about uh, the process of following Jesus. And he says we must be born again. We must be born again of the water and of the Spirit. And shortly after Jesus is baptized of water, you know, raised up from the water, uh, John the Baptist sees the spirit of the dove fall upon him. And um, then he must go forth and um, be drawn away of the spirit into the, the desert to be tempted of Satan, to be tempted of the devil uh, for 40 days and for 40 nights. And in that period of time, he is able to overcome uh, Satan using the word of God, saying, it is written. So, you know, if we choose to follow Jesus and to be born again, of water and spirit, the first step is to um, humble yourself, to um, to let yourself go into the waters of baptism. You know, even if you um, feel like you don't need that, you know, you have to humble yourself to know that you do need that. You do need to go into the waters of baptism, and. Um, and be baptized, you know, even if the person baptizing you, you know, you question their worthiness. Well, John the Baptist, he says, he says, you know, I'm not even worthy to unlatch your sandal. Um, but, but Jesus asked him to suffer to be so now that all righteousness could be fulfilled. So you, uh, you go into the waters, you're baptized, you will be tempted um, by Satan for a period of time, you know. For Jesus, it was 40 days, 40 nights in the desert. For uh, those who were coming out of Egypt, it was uh, 40 years out in the desert before they were allowed to be uh, free to go into the promised land. Um, and, you know, God will give you the, the understanding if you seek Him, you know, of how to, how to come out of any sort of temptation. You know, the temptations that we face are those that are common unto man. And the Word of God gives us the, the knowledge and the truth to, uh, if we take those things unto God and seek truth through the Word of God, to overcome them and to draw near unto God resist the devil and then eventually he will flee from us but I want to talk about you know kind of that um, that next step you know he who loses his life for my name's sake shall find it and and what does it mean to lose your life you know and why would you desire to lose your life and, um, you know, if you be born again of the water, uh, you might, you might kind of like feel like something good has happened and you just kind of remain in that place. But he says you must be born again also of the Spirit. And what does that mean to be born again of the Spirit? And Jesus laid down his life for the sheep. You know, the good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. He, uh, he surrenders to the will of God, even if it means that he should perish. He surrenders. You know, that if he loses his life for, for God's name's sake, he would find it again. You know, and then for us, if we follow him, if we lay down our life for his name's sake, we should find it again. So, what does that mean? 
who would you be willing to lay down your life for? Um, Hi. Hi. Puppy dog. You're sitting here so you can pet him. Yeah, yeah. What's his name? Boomer. What's that? Boomer. A boomer? Alright. Come on. Have a, have a good day. Boomer. So anyway, um, trying to get back on track here. So, who would you be willing to lay down your life for? Would it be somebody that uh, was your friend? Somebody that was your uh, your neighbor, somebody that you loved. And uh, you know, God knows why things happen, but that dog Boomer, would you be willing to lay down your life for somebody that? was without you know and it says in the scripture that I forget the exact wording but it says for without our dogs and it goes on to list a, a bunch of other things that sound corrupt would you be willing to lay down your life for for a friend who was more, maybe more wicked than thou, more wicked than you are. Would you be willing to give up your life for that cause, to die for that cause? You know, maybe they uh, didn't even know that they were living in wickedness. Maybe they didn't even know that they were blaspheming uh, the very... Um, gift of God Jesus Christ maybe they didn't know they were nailing him to the cross maybe they didn't know they were uh, responsible and maybe you know maybe you being the one needing to lay down your life didn't recognize that it was you that was responsible you are more wicked than him You are like a dog, an evil and wicked, disobedient one, that he would lay down his life for you. So as you go to, uh, to understand him, you know, are you willing to lay down your life for one that is more wicked than you? Would you lay down your life for uh, the followers of Satan, the whole synagogue of Satan, would you lay down your life for those that are disobedient unto God, who maybe are atheists, do not believe in God, who maybe are uh, guiding people and teaching people into false doctrines and ways of this world and the flesh? Would you die for that? Would you give up your life for that? that they may see the truth and know, you know, that you are, are as your master, that you are like your master, that you're following his footsteps and his guidance to be willing to die for them, to be willing to lay down your life for them, to know the truth. All right. If you lose your life for his name's sake, you shall find it. But if you try to save your life, you will lose it and that's where we have to hold fast what we have that no man take our crown because it can be so easy to uh, to just fall back into the world but that truth of God 
when you know it, you know it is good and you know it is truth and you can't let go of it. It's, set, it's the same truth that set you free. You can't let go of that thing which set you free or you'll once again be in bondage to sin and death. So it is a, you know, it is a, a, a bit of a struggle, but when you walk in the truth, you are as a light unto the world and the world can see uh, the spirit of, of life in you and light and those who uh, are of the truth will come to the light and those who are of wicked and evil they may flee from the light but let God be the righteous judge and maybe he's uh, also shepherding them in another way where they have to humble themselves maybe tell those that were following them in disobedience you know of how God is changing reforming their life and then they will be set free uh, to come to the truth but it's just all God's timing not ours so just trust in the Lord for all things all right God bless you in Jesus name